Hey guys, welcome or welcome back. It is that time of the week again to share with you my empties. So in no particular order, I'm just going to grab and go. We finished a soap in Doggone Best in the Rainbow Cereal. This was in the boys' bathroom. It's Fruity Cereal Crunch and a Splash of Milk. Nobody said anything about this, but it all got used. Yeah, and it just smells like a very fruity cereal. It's adorable. That reminds me of Clifford. Um, definitely go through some soap here. And when I was looking in my closet yesterday, I don't know why this looks like this stuff all over here. There really isn't. Um, I cannot believe how little soap I currently have. So, anyway... Um, finished a candle in one of my absolute fall favorites, and this is pumpkin apple. I love this. This just went right into um, the crock. I probably had this, I don't know, on and off for a couple weeks, but the last couple days it just stayed on because I had a lot of scents that complemented this. And it is red delicious apple, fall pumpkin, fresh ground cinnamon, excuse me, and clove buds. Oh, I love this. I have to always have at least one of these every fall, and I love it. I've been buying it for years. It will continue to be a repurchase. Finished up a bag of cotton balls from good old Walmart in the jumbo 200 count. Went through a scoopable wax in Jackie's Obsession. Apple spiced with clove and cinnamon. This is amazing and wonderful and gives you all the fall feels. Um, love, love, love scoopable wax. This did amazing as usual. From Yummer's Delight, this is Where the River Runs. Um, and this was a, like a, I don't know if it was the Mountain Fresh Downy, but one of the Downies. Um, I'm not really familiar. I don't use Downy Fabric Softener. When I tell you this was so, like, crazy strong. Crazy, crazy strong, like, on cold. So I was kind of nervous about it. I probably got, like, six melts out of this. I would just cut a little tiny piece off, and it was. I'd put it in the boys' Um, bathroom and it would last two days and then I'd either put that immediately back in or I'd go to something else. Um, from Second and Spruce, this is Pink Moon Milk and Cookies. I loved this. I warmed this in my bedroom a couple different times. It's pink sugar, cashmere cream, roasted pine cones, milk and cookies. So I didn't get as much of the pine cones as I thought I would but it was still beautiful. If you are a pink sugar fan, definitely. Um, this was in the Milk and Cookies sampler. Really, really great. Loved falling asleep to that scent. Um, from the All Fold Up sampler, this was Pumpkin Pie Sunday. It's pumpkin pie ice cream, rich pie crust, cinnamon sugar drizzle, and whipped cream. So this was four squares. I had this going in the loft and hallway. Delicious. My kids even commented on how yummy this smelled. Just a fantastic pumpkin scent. Really liked it. Not overly spicy. Um, just a nice bakery pumpkin. And it was strong. And October is all about, all about the pumpkins. Um, pumpkin cream cold brew. This one was from last year from... October 13th. I had like half of this snap bar left. It's her espresso. Let me just read that. Espresso whipped pumpkin, whipped cream, and vanilla cream. Um, I warmed what I had left of this in my kitchen and dining room one morning, and it was delicious. Excuse the schmutz. Like I say, and I will continue to say, love Second and Spruce. Love Erica. She's just such a kind, sweet Caring, goes out of her way, um, owner of Second and Spruce and her 
wax just, I mean, it speaks for itself. Honestly, I have never had something that didn't perform. And not only do I love the array of fragrances that she offers, but the fact that you do not have to cure the stuff if you don't want to. Now, I have warm stuff a year later and the it does have a good shelf life. I will definitely say that. Um, I have a little bit of this left of Key West Cake Strawberry Pound Cake. Now, excuse me, Key West Cake plus Strawberry Pound Cake. It's her Key West Cake, which is Key Lime Pie and Lemon Pound Cake, Birthday Cake, and then um, Strawberry Pound Cake. This was from June. I have a little bit left. Ugh, it's so yummy. Um, I warmed this in the upstairs hallway because, it, like I said, there was just a little bit left. From Sensi. I'm oh, sorry, my okay. Um, I mixed coconut daiquiri and bananas. Bananas is in my club. I do really enjoy it. It was from the um, it was Bring Back My Bar from January of this year. It's tropical banana, coconut milk, and island. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm taking a sip of my drink. Allergies have been bad. Um, and I mixed it with coconut daiquiri. I think I only had three of the coconut daiquiri and three of the banana. I didn't want to put them away for next summer. So I warmed these in the loft. And it's coconut milk, banana, and vanilla cream. Not available. Um, the scent notes for these are pretty similar. Um, however, if I only had to get, if I could only get one which I can only get one because I put it in my club, it would be bananas. Um, so this was nice as well. I don't remember, when was coconut daiquiri from? I just know it's not available, but this might have been a bring back my bar as well from January. Um, Red Delicious from Sensi. Just a nice, crisp, juicy apple. Uh, pretty strong. Definitely stronger than the Honeycrisp. I don't think I kept this in my club. But I enjoyed it. Um, not currently available, but a great fall apple. Rum Pum Plum, which is available. And I do really enjoy this. It's sweet plum jam, vanilla sugar, and a flaky butter crust. The flaky butter crust is definitely there. I feel like you get it, at least for me in my house, about an hour and a half into the melt. And it sticks around for about four hours. And then I can't smell the flaky pie crust or the buttery pie crust. I just get that delicious plum. And this is really, really great. Definitely love that one. And this is available. Okay, this one. I loved this. I knew I was going to really, really like it because it's a sparkling spiced citrus, which I tend to really enjoy. But this was outstanding. Oh, it is just fantastic. It's mandarin, blackcurrant, clove bud, and sugar cane. Oh, you definitely get that clove, that spiciness from the clove with that orangey, you know, the mandarin. Blackcurrant, I don't know. But this thing was a powerhouse, and it's different. I thought it was going to be kind of, like, similar to Wassel. Is it Wassel Wonderland? Wassel, I think. I love that one. This is a bit tamer, and it's definitely, like, Mandarin heavy. Oh, but this was great, and it lasted a long time. Loved that. I need to either put that in my club before it goes away or grab a couple more bars. Um, I had a little bit of Autumn Walk left from Rose Girls. I loved this so very much. It's Juicy Apple, Ocean, Air, and Rain. You guys, this was just a nice, um, not like your average basic, I don't want to say basic, your average run-of-the-mill Autumn Apple because of that Ocean Air and the rain in here. Oh, I just made it a little bit different, and it was so very, very enjoyable. Um, this, to me, would be a perfect scent to warm, like, on a rainy day. Sadly, we do not get rain here. 
often. There, we have like a 30% chance of rain tomorrow. So please say a little prayer, cross your fingers that we get some rain. Um, enjoyed that, would 100% repurchase it again. Finished up a Traverse City Wax Company um, vanilla chai, which is vanilla chai, cinnamon, nutmeg, and clove. Great if I wasn't craving coffee in the morning. Um, this was a wonderful uh, morning melt for me. And it went really nice with my candle and like other things that I was warming, but I mostly warmed. I think I had two pieces left and I cut them um, from my kitchen and very much enjoyed that. From Sassy Girl Aroma. This was Pink Experiment. I bought this um, from Catherine King in a D stash. This was a pink sugar spearmint and vanilla bean noel. I wish this was a little bit stronger. I've had this before. It smells like a powerhouse on cold, like very spearmint heavy. But it was a, kind of a light, a light scent for me. I still enjoyed it, warmed it um, in my bedroom, and I also warmed it a couple different times in the living room. Rolling Pin, another one that I got from um, a D-Stash from Catherine King. This was Pumpkin Pecan Waffles, Sugar Cookies, Sugar Cookie Dough, Birthday Cake. Delicious. <laughs> oh, just a scrumptious, like, mouth-watering Pumpkin Pecan Waffles. Did very well and really, really enjoyed this. Another sassy girl. It has um, Snow White Pumpkins. The delicious smelling aroma of pumpkin paired with ground cinnamon and other fall spices. I liked this so much more than I thought I was going to. This was pretty much a full bar, a full brittle um, that my friend Katie sent me. And I had never had this before. Oh, it was so good. It was good. It was strong. There's something else in here. I know it says other fall spices. I'm curious what those are. Because this was a different, like, spiced pumpkin. Um, and it was really yummy. Enjoyed that. And the last wax that I warmed was from Teddy Bee's. This was One of a Kind Oak. You guys, I have been dying to warm this because of the deliciousness ugh, that this smells on cold. Now, it is... Um, baked waffle cookies. Oh my gosh, I think it says caramelized vanilla. Toasted. Oh my gosh, sorry. I think it says toasted marshmallow. I could totally be wrong on what that says. Brown butter. Cookie dough. And vanilla extract. This even on cold, while it smells like delicious and strong, it has a bit of a body care note to it. And I should have really just kept this. It was a souffle. I should have kept this and warmed it in my bedroom. I warmed this in my dining room and living room. And it was very, very light. This was poured in July. Um, and I warmed it one day this week. I put it in like early in the morning. And I had to really be like over the warmers to be able to smell this. So kind of disappointed, but I'm following what she says. She says her stuff is ready to go after two weeks. And with the fact that it had um, like the caramelized, I think it's a caramelized vanilla. I think that says marshmallows. Like browns butter. I figured it would kind of oomph it up. It would be a little stronger. Yeah, it just kind of fell flat, sadly. I'm definitely glad that I tried it, and I wouldn't, like, say no to it. Um, but I think if I were to get it again, which I will eventually, probably, um, I would keep that in my bedroom. And then last but not least, I had to replace a bunch of my wallflowers. So I put in pumpkin s'mores, which I've never had this, <clears throat> excuse me, before. It is... Roasted marshmallow, melted chocolate, and pumpkin graham cracker. Um, I 
put this in a couple days ago. I can smell it. I do not get any chocolate in here. It's just a nice like pumpkin bakery. It smells really good and it's complimenting all the pumpkin that I keep seeming to reach for. Also put in white pumpkin um, in the hallway and it's white pumpkin, caramel glaze, and warm blended spices. So when I first opened this and sniffed it before putting it into the um, Uh, but my God, what's the word? The little wallflowery thing. Um, I did get a lot of caramel and I thought that that's all I was going to smell, but I don't. This is very, it's a very light scent for me. And then we have Hometown Festival. And this is what does it say? Gather together to celebrate fall with your favorite festival treats like caramel apples and fresh kettle corn. This is nice. Again, it's not strong, um, but it is kind of competing with wax as well. And then another pumpkin is pumpkin chai, which is spiced chai tea, a pump of sweet pumpkin, vanilla cold foam. So, yes, I mean, it just smells pumpkin-y. I can't really um, smell like a chai note, but it's good. So, those will last me for a bit. And is that everything? I believe that it is. So, that is everything that I have. I hope that you are all doing well, that you are melting your favorites this time of year. And um, you'll continue to see, like, I'm sure some summery scents, too, we are not in triple digits currently, and hopefully we stay that way. The temperature is supposed to get a bit cooler um, over the weekend. And usually once that happens, we kind of stay. So fingers crossed. Um, but, you know, if I get, if I need like a break from the heavy fall scents, I do kind of go back to some more like summery stuff. But that's everything, you guys. Um... Hope everybody is doing well, and I will talk to you guys in my next one. Take care.